everybody. Today I'm going to be drawing some bears. Saw a picture of one of them and I was like, hmm, I think I want to draw some of those. So I've got my iPad here and my Apple Pencil and I'm going to do just that. So come draw along with me, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and let's just get right into the video. And so I decided to start off with kind of like a headshot. So I just went in with a sketch and kind of tried to make the proportions right and find where everything should go. And then I started in with color, so I just went in with this super light brown and then started going in with darker browns. And if you didn't know, the program or app that I'm using is Procreate. And the brush that I use for most of the coloring is the round brush. And for me, what I like to do is to just layer a bunch. So just putting different colors on top of different colors until I reach what I like and it all looks really smooth and everything seems right. And I definitely recommend having a reference. It's super important, especially for shading and getting proportions right. And so then I went in for some finishing details and I also went over everything with a bit of a darker color to make it a bit deeper, which you will see in the next clip. I forgot to record it, but I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. But then it was time to move on, so I decided to go with a full body this time. And if you didn't notice, I did forget to film me sketching the body of the bear. I guess I was just being super forgetful the day I filmed this. Oops, sorry about that. But it was basically the same process as the other one. Again, with a bunch of layers. This one was a bit harder because it was a bigger space to fill. And the reference also had like very light and very dark spots, which was kind of hard to do because I didn't want it to look super extreme. And I really tried to make the legs darker. I felt like that was kind of lacking. And that's another important thing. You have to keep your shadows pretty dark so that it gives it depth. Don't be afraid to go darker than you think you would have to. But yeah, this one was done, and I'm actually pretty happy with how it turned out. And for my last drawing, I decided to draw two cubs kind of playing with each other. And I just found this picture adorable, so I was like, I have to draw this. And as I started coloring these, I realized that they were more of like black and gray color scheme rather than a brown like the other two. So that was kind of weird, but also kind of fun to play around with. And honestly, this is like the exact same process with the other two. So I think instead I will just share some bear fun facts because I know you are just so curious about them. So first of all, there are eight species of bears all around the world. I don't know why you need to know that, but I do. Bears have their own preferences when they come to fish. I mean, some fish just taste better than others. Adult bears sometimes kill bear cubs as a mating ritual. What? Okay, I think this is a sign to stop reading these and get back to the point of the video, which is drawing, believe it or not. I just did some finishing details, kind of blending everything together. I added the eyes and nose and added some little highlights on them to kind of finish everything off and then they were done. I then took a skin texture in the color brown and rubbed it on top and then put it to overlay to kind of give it a texture. Okay, so here is how the finished product turned out. I am literally so in love with this and I love every drawing. I did add a few words to kind of describe these characters so you can read those if you'd like to. I love the added paper texture. And I just had so much fun with this. I hope you enjoyed drawing along with me or just watching the video. And yeah. Hope you enjoyed. Bye!